Hi, this is Jeff. Uh, I would like to discuss transcription by ear for beginners. Beginners, people who are new to bass and wish to develop a, uh, a library of ideas. So I'm going to play three notes for you off of uh, a Miles Davis uh, record, very famous record called Kind of Blue. And this is a song called So What? And I put the song onto Cubase, which is a recording uh, software, and I slowed it down and put a loop so that three notes will go around and around. And this is for uh, pure beginners, near beginners, people who have not used their ear. This simple transcription that I will invite you to do and that I'll demonstrate for you is precisely and exactly built of the same stuff that the greatest transcribers transcribing the fastest jazz or whatever lines in the world do. There is no difference whatsoever except in the difficulty factor. We all listen, identify, and play or write. In this case, we're going to, to play. So there's no difference. What you're going to experience here is what I did, you know, six weeks ago when I did a cannonball transcription. So here are the very first three notes of Miles, and I want you to listen to them. And the first step is to see if you can identify them. How you might do it is to sing them. So let's see if you can't sing these notes as the loop repeats. I'll repeat a couple of times so you can get a chance to hear it. Now, can you sing that? Because I feel that you can. Ba, ba, ba. Seems to be what Miles played. You're not sure? Let's review it. It's nothing wrong in review. Review is a beautiful thing in ear training. Ba, ba, ba. So I'm fairly confident that those are the three notes. Ba, ba, ba. What are the names of the notes? Well, who knows if you're new to music and new to the instrument? How do you identify these notes? There's good news and not such great news. The not such great news is, is that I don't know of a method that can get you to do it, but the good news is there is a method that does. So how's that for an antithetical, backwards, logical thing? You hear the line, -da -da -da. so maybe I can figure out the first note. Dwa. Oh, that ain't it. Da, da, and that little silly demonstration, I don't mind looking silly on camera, is how you can find a note because you, even without knowing it, you're eliminating other pitches to get to the one you heard. So, ba, oh God, I forgot it already. Been, you know, talking so much, I can't see if I remember the note. Let me, let me play it again. Beautiful. And maybe I can stop on the first note. I like that because I just put stop. Da. What note did I? Oh God, I've been talking so much I forgot the note. Da. There it is. The next note. Ba 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 ba. Ba ba ba. That helps. Maybe I can review this and make sure I'm right and even stop on the first two notes. Bop, bop. Okay, I'm two notes in and it's all based on ear. Now I'll go for the last note. Let's see if I can't get that guy. So I'll start this again. Bop, bop. I'm not moving my hand, by the way. I'm going to stay here because I know that these are the notes. So. Ba, ba, ba. It's an octave. So by rote, by struggle a little bit, by error, by repair, my ear is being 
encouraged to solve an oral problem, an oral issue. And by doing so, I'm three notes better than I was 10 minutes ago. That's a beautiful thing, you guys. That's a beautiful thing. Three notes in to beginning players, if you listen to a jazz thing or if your teacher or somebody guides you to some music that is, I would call it tolerable to hear, and you get on a system to slow it down, you could learn to solve an ear training thing and develop your playing note by note as you make errors. Da, da, da. Boy, that is totally wrong. I, I must be an idiot. No, I'm not an idiot. I, I, this is ear training. I, I, don't, I gotta identify the pitch. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I got it, but Jeff did it up in octave. I'll do it up in octave. And it is this little demonstration of the uncertainty, the unsteadiness that makes us steady and makes us certain. That's the beauty of this, is that the result is supposed to be that we're supposed to get somewhere. I got that because my ear led me to it and I guarantee you I'm not unique in this. You could do it too. And if you do it every day, 10 minutes, tolerable 15 minutes, imagine 15, 10 minutes a day of ear training relating to music that you haven't thought of but that another great player has that helps us, helps you to realize new music on your bass. I hope this helped. Take your time, be slow, fix your mistakes, and do not give up. There is a great future in the heightened ability to hear, which leads to a heightened ability to play. See you soon. <laughs>